Hello and welcome to uh, Command and Conquer General Zero, our Rise of the Reds video. I'd like to show you the um, this war isn't going to ECA, so-called uh, European Continental, Continental Alliance. And I'd just like to show off all the units and their buildings in a few minutes. So, um, we'll start with the barracks. These are normal barracks, can produce melee units and have upgrades for for them. I'll come to them later. Um, the co Commandos Central Region Command it's called. Um, you can build excavators. These are the normal uh, build units like dozers and a reconnaissance helicopter. It provides you with a radar and it flies around your base, like you can see here. And if there are enemy staffed units behind, uh, under it, you can see them too. But it can also be shot down from enemy aircraft or anti-aircraft and then you don't have radar anymore if you don't have another helicopter. <coughs> um, this is the vehicular assembly depot I think it's called. It's like the um, war factory, uh, weapon factory, <laughs> war factory. You can build uh, all your ground vehicles here. Um, except for the protocol, uh, sorry, except for the prototype units, you can build them here. But I'll come to them later. Yeah. Um, here's the Lynx APC. It's uh, normal infantry transport, like the Humvee, but it doesn't have um, an own um, an own gun. It has to be manned by infantry. So I can show you. This is a Lynx. Now it, it cannot shoot. It has place for six infantry units. Some units take um, larger space than other. For example, this um, Panzerfaust soldier takes two places. And a Fadian rifleman, I'll come to uh, the both of them later, takes only one place. <coughs> and now, as soon as there's at least one person in the APC, you can see that he has a little gunner on top of it, and it can shoot. When I take them both out, I can't shoot anymore. <coughs> and I send them back. And <coughs> there's the Leopard, it's the, the normal battle tank, Leopard 2. <coughs> and it's like all tanks, strong against tanks and structures, and can also be manned by um, infantry, and then it does get a machine gun on top. But after you upgraded the shredder round, um, you can also shoot shredder ammunition, which is very strong against infantry. Um, it's stronger when you have more leopards, because, because then you can kill them instantly with this ability. <coughs> then there's the Gepard, it's like the Gatling tank. <coughs> it has also a place for one infantryman, and it's good against uh, infantry and aircraft. Lost. That was infantry. What, what is it? That's aircraft. I could use a smoke. Yes. Okay, I think what I just it? misclicked. What? The crew is hitting Come on. combat. Yeah. And we are there. <coughs> so as you can see, it's the okay. normal uh, aircraft. In this mod, there are always two kinds of un um, anti-air. There's the light anti-air vehicle, vehicle, and the um, heavy anti-air like the Vortan area, but I'll come to that later. Then there's the mole mine layer, I think I've got it here, it's, it can attack buildings with the mole mine. It's super cool, I like that unit because there's a mine and it digs through the ground and then boom, explodes here. But it doesn't deal that much damage and it can also place minefields, anti-personal mines and a mole mine in the ground. So when any units um, walk next to it, it will dig to them and then explode. That's pretty there's awesome. The um, then there's um, the Pandur. It's um, infantry attack vehicle. It's um, pretty fast. It's amphibious. So in this mod you can drive through um, rivers, for example, and seas. And when you place an infantry man inside it, it gets the weapon of the infantry. For example, now it's got a normal machine gun, like the Felin has. 
and when I put the grenade in it, it gets a grenade launcher. <coughs> and then um, the mobile sensor array is basically just um, the detection unit from DCA. You can deploy it, and then it's got a very large detection range where you can see um, stealth units. Um, yeah, the Wotan Array, I already told a little bit about this, it's the heavy anti-aircraft, it can only shoot aircraft, but it deals uh, very much damage, and it can focus the beam or spread the beam to have splash damage or deal more damage to single targets. Yeah. That reconnaissance, reconnaissance helicopter is pretty tanky, so uh, this should go down pretty soon. Unit lost. <coughs> As you've seen, it deals a lot more damage than the Gepard and has a larger range. <coughs> then there's the Jagd Mammut, it's like a tank destroyer, it's very slow. As you can see, and it cannot turn its turret, so it's super slow turning. And <coughs> it's very strong against tanks and vehicles. As you see. <coughs> But it's um, very, very slow and uh, you can flank it good and in the offense it's very weak against artillery and aircraft because there's so much time you have to stop it before it arrives. <coughs> then there's the mortar track. This one here, this is the standard artillery vehicle for the ECA. It has a very long range and can shoot mortar rounds at a target. You can also use the battle network scanner to work like the Patriot rocket system, Patriot missile system from the USA. Um, but it does not deal that much damage on impact. So you have to shoot very long to take something down. Yeah, I think that were all ground vehicles. Um, so we go to the other buildings. That's the main power building of the ECA. It gives you basically unlimited power and when it goes down you most of the times all your buildings power down. So this is the one thing you should defend and that should be your target if you're playing against ECA. Um, that's the R&D compound, it's a normal tech building like um, this one. So here you can also upgrade your units and here you can also upgrade your units. <coughs> and each faction has two tech buildings. This is the telecom relay, it's just for um, having this satellite uplink to see the map and for the money you get. <coughs> and when you have a telecom area you can build those telecom towers and they give you money like the black Where market do does me? or you the drop no zones from points. the USA do. <coughs> yeah, now to the infantry. Um, there's the normal Phelian Rifleman. You can um, upgrade them with Star Streak missile launchers and then they can switch. Here's how they attack normally. Here's one with a Phelian missile launcher. Yeah, has to be away. Yeah, and then it can attack uh, air units, but it cannot deal much damage to ground targets. Um, then uh, here's the Panzerfaust soldier. Just normal against. So normally, like all rocket men, good against tank tanks, but they've also got a vacuum rocket, which is good against infantry, <coughs> which you can upgrade and they can clear garrisons with it. Then there's the grenadier. Um, it's a good defensive unit. He has to be deploy before shooting, but shoots a lot of grenades. And you can switch to airburst grenades, which are better against infantry. Then there's um. The medic. They wouldn't shoot a medic, would they? <laughs> he can heal uh, units around, and he can recover the wounded. So when an uh, um, unit dies, then you get money out of it when it's near the medic. Um, yeah, and there's also there's also attack dogs. These ones, they can f find uh, mines and explosives and sniff stealth infantry. So they are basically good for hunting down these commando units like this one, Frank Jäger he's called. 
I got the move. And he can sabotage enemy buildings. You can stop it here and read it if you want. But basically, he does different effects, different buildings. <coughs> and most of the times, he shuts them down for 30 seconds. I don't need your set, man, city boy. And he does have two weapons. Um, Just like and time. is pretty good against infantry and vehicles if he's ranked up. Mm. Then aircraft, we've got a Harrier jump jet here. It's not like other planes, it does not have to go back to base, it's more like a helicopter. It can shoot its rockets and then it'll get them back. It does also have a machine gun against aircraft and ground targets and it's pretty good. But not as fast as other planes. This is the Tiger. Um, it can also attack air and ground units. Shoots a storm of rockets, which is also pretty good against infantry. And it can lay Ikelist air mines, like this one here, which explode when enemy aircraft fly over it. Here, this is a special building, the so called deployment zone. Um, it can, instead of only building aircraft, it can also. Um, deploy battle groups, for example this tank buster battle group and then you get three mammoths. It costs a little bit more but then they come instantly and help you out if you need anti-air you can just go for the... Uh, is there an anti-air? But there's an... Yeah, here anti-air battle group you can go for it and then you will have help very quick. Yeah, there comes a biggest limp, limp, limp I think it's called and then it releases the entity. Um, then you of course have the super weapon, where is it? Here. So called solar burst and it can shoot a gigantic burst of solar energy to a target area, for example here. Where just my tank hunters came. It's faster than other um, super weapons, but it's not as it does not have a great radius. So you can destroy armies with it, but it's not that good against um, bases. You can see the base defense is a skyship battery against um, air. This is the mortar turret for long range mortar, like the mortar track does have. Okay, maybe here, maybe here. Yeah, oh, come on. We can shoot farther, I know. Okay, maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, this is the Guardian Tower, it's good against infantry, this is the cannon, good against tanks. And these are artillery buildings, <coughs> you can build one of them, they cost pretty much and they have a long cooldown but they can shoot artillery very far, like you see. This is the maximum range and, yet you ca and then you can destroy buildings very far away and even attack the enemy base or enemy armies. But normally in games you don't see them so often because they are they cost very much. <coughs> you can see how the skyship battery destroys the tiger. Unit lost. Now devastating. But only you never get that many, believe me. Um yeah, that was basically the presentation of the ECA. If I said something wrong you can um tell me. I won't show you this because it would take too much time I think. And then I'll do it better next time.